I think we were most excited about giving some special attention to Tori's dreams. That's right. I mean, you saw our dream board. Tori showed you. It was on the ground. We need to get that up off the ground and just make something special for her to put her inspiration on. Absolutely. It was falling off all over the place. It was certainly not functioning properly. So we decided to do something special. No cork board. We were going to make something. We were going to make it soft, use some fabric to bring some softness and allow Tori to kind of have a little feminine space in the corner. And what better than some fabric? Some fabric and some foam core, mm -hmm. which we headed down to Home Depot for. And turns out it's not called foam core at Home Depot. It's called insulation. <laughs> and it's big. It's huge. Like it caught wind and I, it kind of started to go back and Lee had to catch me. And they don't cut Darling. it for you either. No, they wouldn't cut it. So we Wait, got it yeah. out to the car and really we cool. had to fit it into the car. So we tried, we thought, okay, well, we'll break it right now. It's foam. It'll just snap right in half. Mm -mm. Turns out it just kind of closes Bent. like a mouth. Bends right up. No so then we were like on the ground trying to get it to break. And it didn't really work. So we just kind of shoved it halfway in the car. And it worked out great. It worked out. Because we actually only ended up using about this much of it. Mm -hmm. So we wasted a lot of foam core. But... Tori got a really fabulous custom dream board. And when she says waste a lot of foam core, by the way, it was $5 Yeah, that's for that true. giant piece. It's it not exactly like it was breaking the bank. And then you can customize it. So we looked at her wall, decided how big we wanted it in that space, like measured it off, and then just cut it with a razor blade. Actually, it worked out really well. Mm -hmm. Next, we hit our $5 outlet store for our fabric, which is $5 a yard. Genius. We needed one yard. Yeah. This is a $10 dream board. Custom. $10 custom dream board, people. And with enough, you can make more. That's true. You can make dream boards for days. You can make four or five dream boards. A wall, dream of, wall of dreams. A wall of dreams. Field of dreams. House of dreams. <laughs> a house of dreams. Lounge of dreams. Anyways, back to the project. Mm -hmm. So, after we have our foam core cut and our fabric, we had to staple it on. And that's really all it took was a couple staples. Yeah, literally. And we love. there's nothing we love more than the staple gun. Maybe a power drill. Or a spray paint. Or weed whacker. That was fun, too. That was fun. But we just kind of folded it like a present over, over, and just the two of us, and hung it on the wall. I mean, it was that easy. It was that easy. How did we hang it on the wall? Patrick hung it on the wall. No, but what did we use? Nails. Do we Nails? just nail right through? We nailed from the back. So Patrick nailed from the back so you couldn't see it, because we didn't want a giant big old nails going through the front. That's how we think. So we, he, Hmm. Nailed two nails in the wall and then just shoved the foam core on. And the great thing about foam core is that it just sticks right into the nails, so it ain't going anywhere. Mm -mm. And Tori loved it. Tori wanted to put herself on the dream board. Tori said, put me on the dream board because this is a dream. She literally said that. That's a direct quote. That's a direct quote. Mm -hmm. And now she's happy and her dreams can come true. Verbatim. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Leah? Does that mean we're like the dream provider? We are like the fairy godmothers. <gasps> So when those dreams come true, who are you going to call? Call me, Dor. Call me. 